Hello guys, today we are going to talk about whether you need Dexcom G6 or not. I get this question all the time. I'm an endocrinologist, I'm a diabetes expert, and we do uh, in-person or virtual visits. So wherever you're in Florida, and we are expanding to other states soon, but if you have diabetes and you need an endocrinologist, you don't have to look no further. You don't have to travel to places, wait in the waiting room for hours. You don't have to wait for a couple months to see an endocrinologist. We are changing that game. So get ready. We are going to talk about Dexcom G6. Right. Before you dive into this video, please remember to give a thumbs up or subscribe and so that you can get all the videos you want uh, and you get notified and you help us support us so more people can see these videos so that they can educate themselves and understand diabetes better. Now, I get a lot of patients, they will be like, okay, I would doc, I heard about this Dexcom G6, they're advertising everywhere. Do I need it? Do I qualify for it? How do I get Dexcom G6? There are a lot of questions, right? Do, I mean, do, so if I get Dexcom G6, what's the benefit to me? How expensive it is? So those are the questions that come to me all the time. And these videos are for my patients, but also for general public as well. So feel free to enjoy and learn more about Dexcom G6. Now, it's very popular, right? So we prescribe Dexcom G6, uh, especially type 1 diabetics. Uh, and patients with type 2 diabetes on insulin, multiple daily injections of insulin. If you are taking a lot of insulin, which is type 1 diabetics and some type 2 diabetics, what their biggest problem is when they take insulin, right, and they eat, but sometimes there's a mismatch. So if you're, if you're normally eating 60 grams, let's say you eat a bagel and um, you take uh, 10 units for that, you know exactly how it works and you kind of understood, hopefully, a lot of type 1 or type 2 diabetic patients have no idea about this, but our, most of our patients will understand because we educate them, we train them. So if, if let's say I'm a type 1 diabetic patient, I, I eat a bagel, which is huge. I mean, it's, it's, I'm not saying that it's good for you, but if you're eating that bagel um, and you're taking 10 grams, 10 units of insulin for that, let's say Hemolog, um, and you know that works. So if you're eating bagel every morning and 10 units, that's great. Uh, but sometimes, let's say you put a peanut butter on it, or you do something different with today, or you want to have uh, French toast today, or you want to have something different, uh, then if you don't know exactly how much that's, uh, that other food, in terms of how much 60 gram of that other food, right, you may not be able to match that. So if you took 10 units, but you didn't eat 60 grams of carbs, your blood sugar may plummet. It can go down very fast. So a lot of people will eat, for example, a one-day bagel, and the next day they're going to eat uh, egg whites. I'm like, uh, okay. So how do you take the 10 units of insulin if you're eating uh, for 60 grams of carbs and no carbs? What do you expect to happen, right? So you're going to go low. Now, that is an educational aspect, and actually an educated patient you know, may not even need Dexcom because some people are like, hey, I'm on, I'm on top of it. I never go low, never go high. We have a lot of patients like that. Those patients don't need Dexcom G6. It's an extra device that sits on you, on your skin or whatever. If you don't need it, you don't need it. You don't have to be like fancy. You know, nobody really is going to be proud. Hey, hey, I look, I have Dexcom, you know. So it's nothing to be uh, to, to wear as, a, as, a, as a, like, a, uh, like a jewelry piece, you know. But if you need it, it's, it's a great tool. Why? Because some patients, for one or the other reason, uh, they will not be able to get handle off their blood sugars and their blood sugars are going up and down and they, they get really upset about it. Dexcom G6 will tell you uh, that your blood sugar is dropping, right? If you see, and there are different signs, we talked about this before, how to analyze and interpret Dexcom G6 is a whole different video, like how to do that. So if you just YouTube it right now, how to analyze and interpret Dexcom G6, you will see our 
other video, which is like going to detail. A lot of people end up getting Dexcom and they don't know how to do it. It's like buying a very nice car and don't, don't, not knowing how to drive it. So that, you know, or just um, driving, but you're driving in uh, 20 miles an hour and that's, that's all you think that's gonna do, but that car maybe is gonna go 200 miles an hour, not that you should, but uh, you know, you should understand the potential with the device that you have, that you have been, uh, that you've been using. Now, uh, back to the topic, we're going off topic here. But basically, uh, Dexcom will tell you you're dropping. So uh, it, if you see one arrow down, um, two arrows down, that all have uh, certain significance. So you may be dropping, you know, um, 30, per, uh, 30 milligram per deciliter per th 30 minutes, within 30 minutes. You may be dropping 60 or 90 or more. So if you see two arrows down, and that means that you're dropping 90 or 100, uh, milligram per deciliter within 30 minutes and you're already down to 150 you should maybe do something about it maybe you know you know that now that you took too much insulin so you can intervene before you go down to 50 which believe me if you never had hypoglycemia that means that you're uncontrolled because most of the time when you're running high you never go low you know it's not always a good thing sometimes you have to go low if you're really controlling diabetes tight you know y you will have you will have uh, some lows, but the, the goal is to minimize the lows and to catch them before it happens. So as a result, guys, so you will end up, um, you know, if you're using Dexcom, you will know that you're having low and you, you can prevent that. So you can maybe eat a couple, uh, 15, 20 grams of carbs and keep watching it. You know, it's gonna allow you to really real time watch your blood sugars and avoid a low. Now sometimes you didn't do it right and you, instead of, um, Eating a bagel, you ended up eating a whole pizza. Mm -hmm. Not a good thing, but it happens. Um, now, in that case, the 10 units is not gonna cut it. Maybe you needed 25 units instead of 10 units, but you just did 10 units anyways. And then next thing you know, your Dexcom is beeping at you, your blood sugar is skyrocketing to 250, 300. So before you get there, Dexcom will tell you, your blood sugar is going up rapidly due to you have done something wrong. If you don't, use, don't do something right now, your blood sugar will be at 200, 300, and you're not going to be happy. So Dexcom also tells you that, so you maybe can take an extra bolus before you get very high. Um, and more importantly, when did that keeps happening, what happens? You learn. Okay, well, I have had this pizza. I should not have had just 10 units. Now, if you take another 10 units and your blood sugar comes down, now you know, okay, well, if I eat this, I have to take that much insulin that teaches you how much insulin to take for what food. So as a result, you know, patients understand. And then, you know, you have to be able to understand how to watch your blood sugars. If you just put a Dexcom on your pocket and never look at it, or silence the alarms and don't even care about it, of course you're not gonna learn from it, right? But if you are a good observer and you understand what's going on with your blood sugars, uh, a lot of people actually get obsessed about it, especially in the beginning, they keep looking, hey, what's going on with my blood sugars, which is great, you know? Without me doing anything sometimes, just prescribing Dexcom and fighting for it for our patients, you know, pays off and they end up controlling their blood sugars much better. A lot of people will say that's a revolutionary uh, tri uh, the, the device. Now, remember, I'm, I don't work for Dexcom. We don't get paid from Dexcom. I'm here to tell you uh, the facts about Dexcom, right? So if you really need it or not. Um, so, but uh, remember, so if, if you are on multiple daily injections of insulin, insurance coverage will be much easier. Medicare covers it if you're on three or more injections uh, a day. They pay 80% off it. Uh, for a lot of commercial plans, if you have a good plan, they most of the time cover uh, Dexcom if you're on multiple injections. Now, uh, once you get to Dexcom, another good benefit is that you don't have to do finger sticks most of the time, right? So uh, accuracy is very good. Uh, I still recommend pi my patients, if they go low, like very low, uh, uh, you shouldn't be relying on Dexcom. A lot of people, a lot of mistakes happen because they go low, which is great, they, 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 they catch it and they do something about it, but then they keep following the Dexcom to see if their blood sugar is gonna go up. Now remember, Dexcom is delayed, especially when your blood sugars are rapidly going up or rapidly going down, it is telling you, but it's telling you a little bit later. So you're, it's delayed. So you may be down to 50. You may eat 20 grams of uh, sugar or carbs. Your blood sugar will go up to 80 within just minutes. 
Dexcom will not tell you that. Dexcom will still tell you that you are still in the 50s, 60s just because it is delayed. So at that moment, you have to do the finger stick to make sure that you actually um, uh, are back to normal. Uh, and then you can go by your symptoms as well. Of course, your symptoms disappear. Dexcom still says you're 60. Who cares, right? So you feel better. You do a finger stick. The blood sugar is up. And then Dexcom eventually will catch up in 10, 15 minutes. So as a result, if your blood sugar is overall stable before eating, when you wake up, Dexcom is going to be like that accurate, right? But uh, it's, it's also telling you, the good thing about Dexcom is telling you the direction you're going. It doesn't have to be exact. Sometimes when patients will say, oh, I do a finger stick, I do a Dexcom, they don't match. Uh, long, long story, right? So the finger sticks are not perfect either. So when you do a finger stick and a draw of blood from your vein, uh, it's going to be 20% different sometimes. So the finger sticks are not necessarily exactly what you're trying to match with. Uh, even when you do a toe versus finger, your blood sugars will be different. So you, your body is dynamic. So things are different in your body. So, um, and uh, Dexcom is not even measuring the blood sugar. It's measuring the fluid glucose. So for glucose to get transported to the tissue, it has to go from the blood, get out, go to the tissue, and that there's a time delay there. So so even if your blood sugar goes up after you eat, you know, that blood sugar to travel to your tissues uh, for Dexcom to measure is going to take some time. Also, there's some, you know, the electronics involved, you know, when, when Dexcom is measuring, there is a sensor that has to be a, that has to be a certain reaction for that um, glucose to be translated to a number on your Dexcom. All these things, guys, take time. So, uh, so it, it's, it's sometimes minutes, you know, 10 minutes maybe, uh, but you don't want to eat another 100 grams of carbs within that 10 minutes to try to get your blood sugar up because you're following Dexcom that should not happen. So these are common mistakes that happen with Dexcom. Now, as I said, if you're on multiple injections of insulin, guys, call us. If you're a Florida resident, we'll take care of you. We'll get the Dexcom covered for you. We'll get the Freestyle Libre covered. If you are, um, let's say for one or the other reason your insurance doesn't cover Dexcom, they cover Freestyle Libre, uh, it's still better than nothing. Uh, in my opinion, Dexcom is much better than Libre in terms of accuracy and so forth and the alarms and so forth. But uh, Freestyle Libre um, uh, definitely still will help you, although you will need to do much more frequent finger sticks. So Freestyle Libre is not necessarily going to uh, put you to no uh, finger stick zone. Uh, it will put you into no finger stick most of the time zone. Okay, but with the Dexcom, you can get away without. Um, uh, finger sticks for a long time, especially if you're not having very severe highs or severe lows, uh, and that is the beauty of Dexcom. So I hope that uh, helps you guys. Uh, so if um, you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to our channel. You are going to get a lot of valuable information. Uh, you are going to be educated. Uh, do not please uh, ask personal questions, but you can ask general questions about uh, anything about diabetes, insulin resistance, and weight loss. That's what we are helping you with. Again, we are in person and virtual. If you live in the West Palm area, more than welcome to see us. If you are living in Tampa, living in Pensacola, uh, we are just a, a, a call away and we are going to make a virtual visit and we'll stay in touch through texting and emailing. Again, sugarmds.com. Have a wonderful day. I'm Dr. Ergen and I hope you enjoyed this video.